in terms of the border, you know, we have been saying that it is important to allow uh, families who have been separated across the border, but that doesn't mean that it's a, uh, that people are allowed to come in without the restrictions that we have in place. And so we have not lifted our order on requiring people to be um, in quarantine or to self-isolation for 14 days after they come in from the United States. And the federal um, quarantine order is still applies to anybody who comes in on family reunification as well. And you know that is that is the way that we protect ourselves and people who are coming to be with their family. Um, the last thing they want is to bring this virus in and, and to affect those people that they are closest to, which are their loved ones, the people they're living with. So it is a way we can do this um, that supports people to get back together um, and to do it safely. Uh, I think just, just to say what I said before, which is that um, in Washington, in Oregon, in California, in Arizona, in Nevada, uh, um, states where there is um, many reciprocal relationships or where people from British Columbia go frequently, there are significant upticks, actual upticks in the month of June in the case counts uh, for COVID-19. And that's a significant situation that continues to be a problem for us uh, in terms of reopening, uh, the general reopening or the reopening of borders to visitors anytime soon. And, and uh, I don't see that as practical. I don't see it as practical either to have Canadians visiting and then coming back um, uh, from uh, to the United States and then back. I don't see it as practical for people visiting from the United States. Obviously, this is federal jurisdiction, but obviously, we in the province are spending enormous effort and resources. Everybody, I mean, we can all think every single person watching us can talk about the efforts they've made uh, over the last number of months to reduce the transmission of COVID 19. And we have to, for those reasons, be significantly, especially in this moment, especially vigilant around these questions. Uh, unfortunately, and this is not something we take any, uh, we're anything but sad about. Uh, in fact, uh, the significant increases we see in states like Arizona. Um, are uh, are profound for those communities. The significant increases, even if they're from 200 to 300 a day on a rolling average in Washington State, they're profound for people. People are uh, our friends, our neighbors, the people we're very close to, are uh, are uh, are struggling with this. And so uh, this is not something that we see as desirable or anything else. But uh, it is something that I see as necessary. In the coming uh, in the coming period, uh, absolutely uh, for sure, we have made, and the federal government has made provisions for people whose families have been separated. They're uh, a specific group of individuals and class of individuals, and even there, the rules have to apply in terms of uh, self isolation on return uh, on return to Canada or on arrival in Canada. I think those are important things.